hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and guys in this video i just wanted to discuss with you you know if you are trying to install vcenter server 7.0 and uh, yes if you don't have proper information about the installation procedure and what changes has been done by uh, vmware with this version you won't be able to deploy it properly okay so that is what i thought to uh, you know record this video in that what i'm going to tell you see one thing you should know very clearly now with this version of vcenter that vmware has removed support for windows operating system okay earlier what and how we used to install vcenter server we were able to use one uh, you know windows server like this is windows server i have deployed you can see here this is windows server uh, uh, you can see here this is windows server uh, 2019 standard evaluation version okay so, so then i had deployed 6.7 uh, vcenter server on this operating system but now what they have done they have removed support for it you cannot deploy uh, vcenter server directly on any host operating system i should say this is host operating system okay this is what uh, i just wanted to tell you because what is happening uh, if we don't know about it what we are doing generally lots of people are doing they are just uh, you know installing operating system and let me show you something here uh, for example how i used to or we used to uh, deploy it earlier we used to deploy one active directory for authentication okay and one domain member server windows operating system and then uh, rest of uh, vcenter like this is not vcenter okay this is esxi host this is how we used to uh, deploy earlier esxi host this one and this is for vm this is for management central management correct but now what they have done they have removed support for this host operating system windows and uh, they have made like we need to deploy vcenter server 7.0 on a host so first we need to deploy one host here okay esxi host and then we can deploy vcenter server here okay on host computer we have to deploy so windows uh, support has been gone this is one thing you should remember if you don't remember this thing and this ip i have uh, different ip now this is three i guess and uh, this is four okay and name also this is this example this is esxi host so you have to deploy here okay so let me show you here both error as well as solution so uh, solution means procedure this this demo i'm going to show you here so guys this is my active directory okay i have deployed three virtual machine here already this is my active directory if you want you can verify uh, like this is see you can see here only let me close this this is virtual.com my domain and this is my active directory if i go to domain controller here and uh, i can see uh, you can see couple of computer this computer simply i added this computer to my uh infra uh, to just show you okay and uh, i will show you i have deployed one one uh esxi host as well 7.0 this is esxi host 7.0 and uh, if you want uh, i can show you in one separate video how to deploy it uh, but here i have already oh, i have already deplo deployed i uh, already okay so if you want to see here management uh, thing you can see like you know what and all i have configured i have configured this ip address you can see ip address this side coming okay uh, 192.168.0.4 and you can go to dns configuration so you can see here dns i gave primary dns server my active directory ip address and the host name i gave uh, esxi01 and suffix you can see like uh, you know i gave my domain name so this is what generally we have to here and uh, I have made one entry here okay on active directory on DNS host entry we need to make for uh, uh, name resolution so if I go to uh, forward lookup zone here and virtual my domain name and you can see here yes XI host I have already created with IP address okay and uh, this is also added here 
and this is active directory itself so guys these are the settings we need to do and let me show you installation part that error part okay so what does actually this error here let me show so so i have image okay this uh, vmware vca image i have already added here okay mounted so if i open it and if i go to installer first of all i'm showing you error so you can see here this is windows server 2019 is standard evaluation okay and if you just click uh, ui installer and 32 bit and go to installer you will have an installer file here this one and if you click this we'll get uh, installer here so this is what uh, first page you will get here we center server installer and you have four option one is restore migrate upgrade and install so if you want to install just click install and select uh, you know uh, agreement this is introduction it is two ways i mean two two stage process this installer allow you to install a vcenter server 7.0 stage one first you need to deploy vcenter then set up the vcenter server so click next here and select uh, this agreement and click next so guys now here it is asking for this is what this is what the place where you will be getting that error okay error is like let me show you for example if you are not giving uh, if you want if you are able to understand this much only you can install it very easily okay so first of all you should see it is telling you here only and it is telling you esxi host or vcenter server if you have any esxi host or already deployed vcenter server like clustering and all so that ip address you need to give here okay that fully qualified domain name either or uh, give ip address of that host host means this machine this one to to be installed here or to install this vcenter server this is the thing you need to remember and if you can remember you can fix it for example let me show you if you don't know this and simply you are giving ip address of this machine this this server this windows uh, server 2019 the way we used to do earlier like that okay because we were installing vcenter on this uh, uh, windows machine only so we used to give that ip address 103 for example i'm giving this just like 6.7 so what will happen 192.168.0.103 i gave this an ip address and username okay root i gave and password and now if i click next i will get error this error fail to get an ssl print uh, thumbprint to the target server certificate so it needs one certificate from that particular machine where it is going to be installed in my one one of my video i already spoke about you know services this uh, virtual cert, uh, cert, i mean uh, certificate service one video i had uploaded there i discussed about every virtual machine every every v center or every esxi host will have one separate certificate for authentic uh, authentication and identification so that certificate should come to this machine first of all on the network where it is going to be installed but it is not happening that is why this error is coming so if you don't know properly uh, you know you will keep uh, uh, trying again and again again and again to install on windows operating system but you should not do it you should deploy properly uh, you know esxi host then you should try to uh, I mean you need then you need to follow step by step okay and remember this thing you cannot deploy vcenter server directly on windows server now so what you have to do here let me show you very simple this is a first mistake what uh, we can make here generally or generally we do it if we don't know proper uh, complete uh, this thing you know uh, what changes uh, were made with this version so guys that is the reason i upload couple of theoretical videos and even uh, this is a very common you cannot deploy here okay and let me show you how to fix this and uh, one more thing you should remember here while you are deploying i will tell you that in my next slide so guys here you need to give specifically your host ip address what ip address i gave to my esxi host here 
one not four you can see here once again i will show you this is dns this one so one not four ip address i gave to this uh, esxi host so that that vcenter will be installing on this host but it should be connected to network properly so give here one not four now and the host name I mean this username whatever username you have created here and password that username and password you need to you need to give the so root I have created and one password and now click here next so see you can see you got certificate from that machine you got one certificate from here SSL certificate so now I'm not getting any error here I'm getting one uh, certificate warning like if an untrusted SSL certificate is installed on this machine a communication cannot be guaranteed depending on like that so you have to accept it now you have to accept this and uh, yes it will validate whether this certificate is coming from this virtual machine or not like not virtual machine host machine if it is from this host and it is trusted validation is happening uh, once this validation is happening uh, done it is asking you for you know now uh, uh, set up this center server so you can set up it like you know you can give any name like I'm giving uh, V Center uh, server I'm giving seven okay any username you can give set root password I'm giving like any password you can give here okay and click next next guys next this screen is very important this one in one of my video i spoke separately about you know storage required to deploy vcenter server 7.0 i think lots of people will not watch that video lots of people will ignore it but they should watch it they should listen it there i spoke about this kind of thing like you know what is the default uh, storage requirement for this deployment this is the one image i took from that video only that I had spoken about all uh, you know default storage size then large storage size and Excel uh, X X uh, large storage size so this is also one factor you should remember see for example let me show you uh, the default uh, storage size is 415 GB you should have a storage for tiny environment very simple where you can deploy 10 host and 100 virtual machine host means what let me show you here host means this this kind of virtual machine this is a host and virtual machine you will be creating on this host only so here you should have minimum 415 gb now i will show you here what i have done so if you see this configuration i have two disks one is 60 gb one is 40 gb so i don't have uh even 400 gb here so i won't be able to install it i will have error i will have lots of errors so for example let me select one uh you know default tiny environment and default so i'm just showing you before you deploy before you make uh, uh you know and you need two cpu you should have two cpu let me show you that also we'll see uh, whether we have or not how many cpus i have given to this virtual machine so cpu i gave to number of processor but number of cores per processor single only so that is also very important to remember so uh this is i don't have this this kind of uh you know i mean required infra and i'm trying to install so what i will face what error it will throw to me now if I click next here and it, it is asking for you know install database I mean so in, nothing is coming here you need to select one data store where you were uh, where all the storage will be done so you have like if you have any existing uh, you know install on existing data store accessible from the target host so we don't have anything if we have then it should show here so you can select this option like you know install on a new vsan in cluster containing a target host so if you have any target host you can select that so it will it will create like you know uh, data center name and cluster name couple of things you can just click next so it will search 
do we have any any storage like that so i have connected that for 40 gb hard disk here okay so you can select this and now it is asking you you need to make a couple of changes like this uh, like claim a disk for vsan use and all and if you click here you can select all options and all and as soon as you click next you will get a couple of error here like you know select uh, select at least one cache to claim capacity disk and all so this error is coming only because of this disk is not capable this disk is having only 40 gb but it should be minimum 415 gb so guys this is the uh, you know intention this was the core uh, intention behind this to create this video and this is the only thing i wanted to discuss in this video nothing more here so i need to have at least 415 gb space here then only i can proceed as of now i cannot proceed even i can select all the options and uh, try nothing will happen so capacity is also very important here i tried all the options but it is not going further and it is coming this error again and again so you have to make it more than 400 15 GB space and uh, then only you can proceed so guys if you are new and if you are trying to install uh, please take care of those two things and then proceed else you will be doing again and again and uh, you keep coming that same error and you will be getting frustrated and you will leave it to learn uh, and like after that frustration so avoid all those things go step by step and uh, make a proper requirement available first of all and then try definitely you can learn it and you can understand it much better so guys uh, i will take my leave from this video and finish my video here only i will see you in next video some other video till then bye bye